have the NBA and NHL playoffs in focus. Michelle Steele is hashing out the link between points on the court, money off. She is joined by Bloomberg contributing editor Rick Harrow. Michelle, over to you. Hey, Michelle. I hate to Excuse me. Good morning. It's Monday for sure. Now, uh, we've got Rick Harrow uh, on Skype, author of Beyond the Box Score and Bloomberg contributing editor. Now, Rick, there is a case to be made that the teams that are the most aggressive at creating revenue opportunities may also be the most shrewd when it comes to team management as well. Then again, Rick, there is the Knicks. So is there a correlation here that's more than just slight when it comes to having good business sense and also winning more basketball games? Happy Monday, Michelle. Here is the mantra for the week. Money doesn't always buy happiness, but it sure beats not having it. And right. so of the eight NBA teams, games five of the most profitable teams won and three of the most profitable teams did not win. They're pretty much of a mix. The bottom line, the big guys won this weekend. The L.A. Lakers, the Dallas Mavericks, the Boston Celtics. And because there is a stable situation with the NBA and a revenue sharing and a luxury tax, you'll see that even out long term, not just this weekend. Well, I do hope in the case of, of the Cavs Bulls that the more, more profitable team there wins because I am a Bulls fan and the Bulls are more profitable uh, than the Cavs. And you got to hand it to, to Milwaukee as well. The small market team not expected to make the postseason cutting payroll. But here's the thing. They're an outlier as far as, far as small market teams go. The Pacers not in trouble. The, the in trouble. The Pistons may be uh, sold off, is owning a small market NBA franchise a good business to be in? Well, here's a reason why you have the business issue in Cleveland. It's called LeBron James. That's the balance sheet there. You know, good luck to the Bulls. But the bottom line is you have teams like Orlando in the NBA Finals last year building a new arena. Mm -hmm. uh, you have San Antonio back-to-back -back championships 10 years ago. Uh, Portland won this weekend upsetting Phoenix. Oklahoma City, 15th anniversary of the Federal Murrah Building bombing this weekend. And Oklahoma City celebrates and memorializes. They built an arena off the back of that process, by the way. And now the Thunder comes home right. against the Lakers for the first playoff game. So it's an obviously positive situation for a lot of those small market right. teams. All right. Well, thanks so much, Rick. That's all we have time for. And if you're right, could see the Lakers again another championship. They are the most profitable in the league.